procedure for analysis. The most effective way of learning the principles of engineering mechanics is to solve problems. To be successful at this, it is important to always present the work in a logical and orderly manner, as suggested by the following sequence of steps. Number one, read the problem carefully and try to correlate the actual physical situation with the theory study. Number two, draw any necessary diagrams and tabulate the problem data. Number three, apply the relevant principles generally in mathematical form. Number four, Solve the necessary equations algebraically as far as practical, then making sure that they are dimensionally homogeneous, use a consistent set of units and complete the solution numerically. Report the answer with no more significant figures than the accuracy of the given data. Number five, study the answer with technical judgment and common sense to determine whether or not it seems reasonable. Remember that when solving problems, do the work as neatly as possible. Being neat generally stimulates clear and orderly thinking. Now let's discuss the important points of this chapter. Statics is the study of bodies that are at rest or move with constant velocity. A particle has a mass but size that can be neglected. A rigid body does not deform under load and concentrated forces are assumed to act at a point on a body. Newton's three laws of motion must be memorized using the keywords mentioned in the previous videos. Mass is a property of matter that does not change from one location to another. Weight refers to the gravitational attraction of the Earth on a body or quantity of mass. Its magnitude depends upon the elevation at which the mass is located. In the SI system, the unit of force, the Newton, is a derived unit. The meter, second, and kilogram are base units. Prefixes giga, mega, kilo, milli, micro, and nano are used to represent large and small numerical quantities. Their exponential size should be known, along with the rules for using SI units. Perform numerical calculations to several significant figures and then report the final answer to three significant figures. Algebraic manipulations of an equation can be checked in part by verifying that the equation remains dimensionally homogeneous. And finally, know the rules for rounding off numbers.